Hey guys, welcome back to my garden. Today I want to show you a couple little things that I added to the garden and changed around, as well as a few little things that I ordered and also one little experiment that I want to do. So I guess it's, it's a pretty, pretty jam-packed episode. So you can see over here I added another T5 grow light. The plants are already overgrown, it's been only three days and they just keep on taking over guys. Um, I keep on trimming them at every couple days and you can see that they just keep on getting too close to the grow lights and burning up. So you want to try to keep that at bay and make sure things don't get too close because it will damage whatever's touching. And have you guys seen this before where only one of the petals is opening up for the flowers instead of the whole thing opening up? I noticed that just keeps happening, I've never seen that before. Let me know down below if you know what's going on guys. And here's a little interesting thing about tomato hairs. So looking around you can see a bunch of new growth is developing as well as we do have flowers all over the place. I could see a lot of miniature flowers that are beginning to to set on and get a little bit larger. You can see right here I, there's already two sets of flowers that are both new from, from three days ago. And make sure to keep the bottom of the plant trimmed up. If you do see new growth just try to take that off it. And it's mail call guys. Time for some new items. I'm super excited to try this kelp right over here and it's just a seaweed extract liquid extract um, it looks like it's a der derived from using from seven different types of kelp so it should be packed full of nutrients guys I'm really excited to try it out and you can see I'm also trying to go even more soilless and try out these things right over here um, you can see it's gonna be great for transplants or even just growing any plants guys it looks like you'll be able to fit any plant in there and I got these new 2 inch net cups also that are super wide mouth. And you can see it just fits in perfectly right in there guys. So nice and easy, nothing complicated to it. And plenty of space for the roots to grow down below. And since you can see it is a, a, a pretty tight fit, all you gotta do is just push one end inside and it just should pop right in. And easy as that guys. Best part about those things is they're reusable. So let's get it going guys. I'm gonna open this thing up. Um, I'm gonna spin it around. If you guys wanna pause the video, you could try to read a little bit more of the description and the details or the contents, what it's made of. Um, but it's basically made of from seven different types of kelp. That's um, different types of seaweed. So it should be really good for pretty much any type of plant that you guys are growing at any stage of growth, starting from seedlings, from, from, from when they're seeds, up until when plants are, are fruiting and, and producing for you. So I'm just gonna use the bare minimum I'm gonna try to use since it's the first time I'm trying this product out. It's a good idea to go with the, the low end of the ratio. And it looks like it's just five milliliters for every gallon of use. And excuse the noise in the background guys, it looks like there's like ambulance or something passing by. So just give that a nice little shake, make sure it all mixes up really well. Um, if you want, you could also pour the, the seaweed extract and then pour the water on top. It will kind of help it mix up a little bit better and faster that way. Now I just want to take a nice little clean cup just to test out the pH and the ppm, see what things are looking like. Since this is a new product and a new item, I, I am interested in trying out and I'm going to be doing experiments to try to see if I could grow plants in just using seaweed extract. So it looks like I'm getting a reading of about a 6.5 which is not too bad it's a little bit high um i'll probably maybe adjust that a, li a little bit later we'll see but this is just a little experiment so we'll see how it goes guys and it looks like i'm getting a ppm of around 210 parts per million so i don't know if that's honestly good or bad um to be perfectly honest but 
200 parts per million is not too bad for um to start out i think uh, most likely, usually when plants are in vegetative stage, you probably want something more like five to seven hundred. And when flowering plants, it could be like well over a thousand sometimes. Uh, so <laughs> it looks like um, I grabbed probably the wrong cap head over here. So let me just give me one second, guys. Let me grab the other one. And now that that's in there, I'm just going to pour that a little bit in here and I'm going to try to mist my plant and spray my plant down as best as I can. Ideally, you want to use a little bit larger of a spray, uh, spray can than this, but you got to use what you got, guys. So I'm just going to spray this all around and seaweed is really good, guys, for any type of plant that you're using or, or growing. Um, at any stage of growth as well. Um, if you guys want, I'll do an end up video about full benefits and for, 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 or pros and cons, whatever you guys want to see. Um, let me know down below if you're interested in seeing something like that. But bottom line is seaweed extract is really good and your plants are going to love it, guys. Your root systems are going to be developed a lot faster, a lot better. And your plants are going to be a lot healthier. They're going to be much more likely to be resistant to diseases and pests and infestations, things like that. So overall, it's just a really good item to use in your garden. And you want to make sure to spray everything down, guys, as best as possible. Spray all angles of the plants. And I'm probably going to spray my plants down, I would say, maybe twice a week just to start it out. And if you liked the episode, guys, please show me some love. Hit that thumbs up. Post those messages and comments down below. And looking at the blue-green Wagner, I realized I didn't show you guys last week um, what it looked like. But you can see it's growing nicely, and it looks like um, it looks like we have about two sets of flowers that are developing right now. Maybe three sets of flowers. But they are still pretty immature and really small. And as you see, the plant is starting to get a little bit large for, for the container here, so it's, it keeps tipping over. So I'm most likely going to have to add some type of support system. But let's just take a quick look at the roots, guys. So things are looking good. Time for the experiment. What I'm thinking about doing over here is I've already showed you guys how I take transplants using honey and how well it works. Um, what I want to do now is I want to try to use the seaweed extract and see how, how well does that work. Now you want to make sure that if you do have flowers, try to remove those guys. You don't want this the, the plant trying to concentrate on developing those flowers right now. All you want it to do is focus on developing a nice healthy root system. Now, like I mentioned, seaweed is really good for the roots uh, of your plant. So most likely this experiment should be pretty successful. And of course, as always, guys, I always tend to make a nice little spill whenever I do any project here. And let's just grab one of these discs actually and try to put that in there. That most likely support it a little bit better. It'll hold it in place while the roots grow from down below and let's just grab one more just for, for to be safe for good measure for the most part um, tomato plants are super easy to transplant guys all of those trichomes or tomato hairs that you do see are going to develop into new roots for uh, for the most part um, as long as you know the conditions are right ideally but all I'm going to do right here is just try to push that in there, see if that fits. Um, it looks like the cup is a little bit large, you can see, because a little bit is spilling from, from down below. But that's alright, I'm just going to keep it kind of pushed in there just a little bit, just so things are nice and sturdy and in place. And not too much lights get down in, inside over there. You want to try to keep the lights out of your system, guys. Keep the algae away. And we'll be back in about a week, guys. I'll show you just how fast the root system develops and we'll see how, how this experiment does if you like the episode guys please show me some love hit that thumbs up post those messages and comments down below we'll be back soon for more thank you for watching